Right now, I'm sitting in Georgia. Where am I at? Madison, Georgia at the pilot. Um, this morning, kind of a clusterfuck. I'm just going to say it, man. I'm, you know what? It's language. You don't like it, don't watch the videos. Ah. Uh, I got a load. Well, yesterday I delivered to the Walmart DC in Monroe, Georgia. I'll start there. Delivered there yesterday. They didn't have any empty trailers or anything like that. Um, so they offered me a load that was sitting on the yard at the terminal in Marietta going to uh, Fairburn, Georgia. Fairburn, Georgia. So, it was 60 miles empty to the yard to pick it up. And then it was delivering the next day, this morning, in Fairburn. It was like 35 more miles. So, went and got that, hooked up to it last night. Spent the night at the terminal. Got up this morning, went to run it there um get there and i'm told hey we're not gonna be open back up until wednesday we're shutting down because of the storm it's like all right whatever got in touch with my asset manager i was told i could go ahead and run it back up to marietta drop it they'll t call it for somebody else to get um Weather was getting kind of bad. It's still not too, too bad. It is windy, though. I mean, gusts of wind are pretty strong. And it is raining. I mean, the rain doesn't help it. Um, but anyways, I was sitting at the terminal this morning after that. And they messaged me and asked if I was uh, just going to stay shut down until tomorrow morning. And I told them, you know, that's up to you guys. Uh, I just assumed we didn't have a whole lot of freight. Because there's a lot of drivers sitting at that terminal right now. And I told them, you know, I just assumed we didn't have the freight. If y'all can get me a load, I'll run it, though. I just, my only concern is I don't want to try and lug around and empty in this wind to try and go pick up a load. So they sent me a load for... Uh, it was sitting there on the yard again, and it's delivering in Greensboro, Georgia, tomorrow. So I'm sitting about 20 miles from it, um, and I'm going to try and deliver that in the morning. Hopefully they take it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been kind of a hectic day, man. This storm is screwing stuff up on the way here. Um there's a tree in the middle of the road, interstate rather, at one point. So traffic had to stop. Luckily a guy with a pickup truck, he had chains with him. He chained up to it and pulled enough out of it off the interstate to clear the shoulder of the interstate so everybody could get past on the shoulder. We get to running again for, oh hell, I'd say, 20 seconds and then boom there's another tree in the middle of the road um which his pickup truck wasn't moving that i think they hooked up a couple of i think they had a truck like a truck truck hooked up cleared that one that took a little bit longer cleared that one though and traffic was flowing again and I said, screw it, I'm gonna stop, figure this out in the morning. Um, they've got me pre-planned to, 
I'm running, delivering this tomorrow. And then from there, uh, I'm gonna dead head back to Atlanta, pick up a load in Atlanta. And that's going to uh, Mississippi. So storm's going to get past me. I'm going to make this delivery tomorrow. Hopefully this place is open. Hopefully they're taking loads. I don't see why not. It's not that bad. Here, though, I'm parked now at the truck stop, so I don't know what's going on, uh, uh, you know, out on the roads and whatnot. So hopefully I can get there and make delivery. Um, but then at the same time, I'm going to be heading right back towards the storm. Um, cause I think it's supposed to get towards the Birmingham, Alabama area. I think it was like around eight or nine tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be going back through the same crap tomorrow. Now I think it will be a little bit weaker since it's got, you know, Atlanta to Birmingham is not a huge distance, but you know, it's enough land, I would think, that would slow it down a little bit more. So we'll see. I'm about to go back through it again. But um, hopefully it's sunny and whatnot in Mississippi because, I mean, this is depressing and just blows. And But, yeah, uh, that's what's been going on with me. Um, you know, I don't, I've not seen any trucks flip. That was my main concern coming here because I thought about stopping earlier and I was like no I'm just gonna push through it and get to the truck stop I originally planned Ooh. on stopping at which I made it um but yeah I guess I'm gonna go get this edited get it put out and I'll holler back at you guys tomorrow all my drivers that are in the path of this storm just be careful you know it's not super bad but you know a 30 or 40 mile an hour wind gust and you're doing anywhere from 62 to 7 you know whatever you're governed at you combine those two it can create a huge disaster for sure so just be careful if you're out here. If you're somewhere where it's sunny, I envy you. It's been so nice. The weather in this area especially has been so great the last few days. I have not idled my truck in I don't know how many days now just because it's been beautiful weather. Amazing weather. Um, anyways, that's about it. Not too much else. Um, like I said, we get this edited, get it up, go watch some videos, do something, read a book. I got a book I need to start reading. My dog is having a dream right now. It's crazy. But anyways, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate everybody watching the videos and all that. and Keep watching. Uh, like I said before, some things to come in the near future, hopefully. And I'll let you guys know as soon as I know what's going on. It'll be put out. And, uh, yeah.